金钱看齐，两长协助，金项链的三十二碎了撞个当朝，驸马郎的七个王啊，满皇上的回二碎了撞个当朝，金钱看齐，两长协助，金项链的三十二碎了撞个当朝，驸马郎的七个王啊，满皇上的回二碎了撞个当。Yo, what's good, YouTube? Y'all been bothering me for this video, bro. Like, I wanted to get my hair cut first and then make it, but y'all were just bothering me because I know it is Christmas time almost, and it's winter, and y'all need some hoodies, right? So I need to make this hoodie collection real quick. If I got my hair cut, I would have been unstoppable right now. The only thing holding me back is a is a taper, bro. But yeah, basically, I'm just gonna be going through every single hoodie I have and rating it on a scale of one to ten. So as you can see, this is not all I have. I got some. I got a couple right there. You feel me? I got some right here. A couple hoodies right there. And then we got all these tracksuits up there, like eight of them. So I'm gonna just basically show you guys everything that I have. Listen, I know you did not hit the subscribe button and the like button yet, so make sure you go down below right now, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I guess we're just gonna get right into it. So for the first hoodie, as you can see, I have on right now, we got the China basketball uh, zip-up sweater, whatever. It's only exclusive to real hoopers. You feel me? So if y'all did not know why DNA myself, I used to hoop for the China basketball team. I used to be crazy, bro. But I had, I had, I had, um, I had to retire my basketball journey just so I could do YouTube because I feel like I'm better off on YouTube than a basketball court. Not because I'm Asian or anything, but that's the story behind this sweater. You know, you could find this online though. I bet they have like NBA, NBA style sweaters and stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty sure. This is called like the Nike, the Nike zip up like basketball tracksuit, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna get right into the real stuff, bruh. First up, we got this Broken Planet hoodie. As you can see, it says choose wisely. We got a little back design right there. Quality on it is thick and good. I would give this true. I would give this a nine. This hoodie specifically, nine out of ten. Quality, ten out of ten. But this is just super hard to match. Like I can never put this on because like I literally just can't match it with anything. Next up, we got this revenge hoodie, bro. Pay close attention though. As you can see, we got this iced iced out hoodie, bro. Iced out hoodie is crazy. Back, we got a bro broken little heart right there. This is fire, bro. R.I.P. to X. But I like this hoodie. I'm gonna give this like a honestly 10 out of 10, bro. 10 out of 10. Next up, we got this hoodie, extremely thin. We got this from Champs, but bro, I got this on the clearance rack. I found it out of nowhere, but I don't even know what this is from like Nike itself, but it looks like custom or whatever, but it's from Champs, you feel me? Just a, just a cool little hoodie, you feel me? I give this like a eight out of 10, eight out of 10. Next up, bro, this is one of the first, like the oldest hoodies I have right now. Everything else I threw out like past like three years ago, but this is the oldest hoodie I have. We got this d -Jad. I'm, I think I bought it from this place called like Simon's. We got this. Little purple hoodie, you feel me? I got this back when like there was um. Remember a long time ago in quarantine when there was like team purple and team green in GTA. I feel I, th I think that's from when I got it, bro. I was definitely team purple. So yeah, W cop. Next up, we got this Kanye West hoodie, bro. I like the bro. Look at the puffer, bro. On the hood, puff on the hood. I think it says intergalactic or something right here. And then on the back, we got a little message, y'all. If y'all, if I want to pause the video to read that. I'm not reading all that. And then we got some stuff on the on the sleeve. I'm I'm giving all these stuff high ratings, but it's cause I chose it, bro. Why would I why would I choose a hoodie that's like a six out of ten, you feel me? So this one I'll give like a nine out of ten. This is another basketball hoodie I won from a championship. That's my last name right there. But another broken planet hoodie. We got the skull right there. It says dark hours. And we got the stars around, bro. Like I said, bro, the puff print is crazy on this. But this one is kind of different from the other one, the other Broken Planet hoodie. This is a kind of like more rough material. I don't know why, but I like all the designs and puff print, bro. It makes it like a, a subtle at the same time. Like I don't know, it's like just a cool hoodie, bro. This one probably like eight out of ten. This one you probably can't even tell, but this is Adidas. Just a quick close up. It's from Adidas. Just a nice little design thing right there the quality is on this one is kind of thin as well it probably won't keep me warm but it's some some a little drippy bro i'll give it like a seven out of ten next up we got a michael jordan hoodie we got the jump man right there any jordan hoodie is valid to be honest bro like that's the most go-to thing any teenager adult like just michael jordan bro that's like just such a go-to thing yeah that's the back just a nice calm little design all right i think i went through all the calm stuff now we got a slightly more drippy bro bape hoodie plain all around just says bape on the chest oh actually it has this i didn't even notice we got the bape head on the hood i'm gonna give this just because it's like kind of plain and stuff seven out of ten i probably this is not something i would just throw on i would have to put a fit on it next one i got this from a p.o box somebody sent me this from their brand i think or something i don't know from a p.o box Nice blue hoodie. I don't even, I don't know too much meaning. I literally just recorded this video like a couple days ago. Strawberry Mansion, you know, just a calm hoodie, bro. Calm hoodie, eight out of 10. And this one, I also just got in the PO box a couple days ago. So don't know too much about it, but that's the brand right there. Shout out for them. And that's the thing on the back. I like this design though. Anything black, 
with a little bit of color on it, bro, I'm messing with it. Puff print could be better, but as you can see, it's a little puffy. Seven out of 10, man. This is drippy, bro. This is a heavy, look at it, bro. Heavy hoodie, bro, from Drew, the brand called Drew. I like this hoodie. It's, as you can see, the quality is like real, like real cotton or whatever. Pretty warm, bro, a pretty warm hoodie. Uh, this I throw on just a lot. Randomly, I just throw it on a lot. So I'm happy to give this one a 10 out of 10. Next up, this is drippy, but the quality is not that good, bro. I think I wore this in the basketball run or something and I was sweating and I took it off, bro. A bunch of cotton was just like flying out. So yeah, not that good quality, but I like the, I like the style. Phoenix Suns right here. Another subtle hoodie, bro, seven out of 10. Next up, we got a Yeezy Gap hoodie, bro. Y'all know the Yeezy Kanye West hoodie is very, very heavy. This feels so heavy, like look at it. This is probably like the heaviest hoodie I have. And uh, yeah, I like the quality, it keeps me warm. The pockets and everything look fire. And uh, yeah, W cop. 10 out of 10. We actually got the same one in black right here. Exact same thing, quality is fire. I wear these ones a lot, like these are really, really comfy, bro. Another very warm, comfy hoodie right here. We got this. I don't even know what this material is. It looks like pube hair, but we got some polo Ralph Lauren right here. We got the bust strings right here, bro. I like the quality, just very warm, like I said, but this was crazy expensive. Like, I don't know like who would wear this in public. I probably would only wear this in the crib, but like, I don't know why it's so expensive. It's like a pajama, pajama if it was a hoodie. So I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10, just cause I, if I wear this outside, bro, I'm getting flamed. Next up, we got this hoodie, probably the worst one in my collection from Boohoo, man. Like, I like the style and stuff, but bro, the quality is so, like, I don't know, bro. I can't complain, though. It was like $20, $20 but from Boohoo, man. If y'all know Boohoo, man, it's pretty budget-friendly quality, so very thin and not that warm, but, you know, I'm gonna give it like a 6 out of 10. Next up, something to get in the Christmas spirit. We got the Chicago Bulls sweater uh, thing. I don't know, sweater jersey. I like the style, like, it, it's kind of like a... This is something I would wear to go out to, like, a bar or something, you feel me? Like, after the winter time, I cannot see myself wearing this at all. I'm gonna give this, like, a 9.5 out of 10. Crazy expensive, too. All right, next up, something a little plain. A Stussy hoodie, not too much to say, bro. Stussy hoodie, I'm gonna give this, like, a 8 out of 10. Next up, we got this Nike hoodie. I got this from, like, Winners or something. It was, like, 50 bucks. Quality is all right. We got the... Nike on the back, like I literally can't match this with anything. That's the only thing, so I don't know. Just a nice, nice quality. Something I would see on like a middle schooler that has no drip. Next up, another, like kind of like the, the Gap hoodie, Kanye West Gap hoodie. The quality is really good, very heavy. I got this from P.O. Box. It says forgiveness right here, bro. I like the style on it, bro. Like nice little message. And then we got this little thing on the bottom. Shout out to the dude who sent this to me. I do have a P.O. Box in my bio where you can send stuff and I will shout out your brand, you feel me? Next up, we got a spider hoodie right here. I like the quality on this one as well. We got the spider web on the hood and everything. This is something I would wear like like every other day. So yeah, W caught for this one, spider hoodie. 10 out of 10. Next up, a calm, a little cheap Lakers hoodie from the NBA store. Kind of uh, kind of flimsy and thin, but I'm gonna give this like a 7 out of 10. Next up, we got this Nocta Tech Fleece, all right? So this is the hoodie right here. As you can see, good quality. I recommend buying true to size. I'm an L, so I would've got large. This is extra large. Comes with the pants as well. Nocta Tech Fleece. This is not really budget friendly, so I'm gonna just gonna go through this one quick. I'm gonna give this like an 8 out of 10. And I got the same thing in green. Like I said, bro, this is not really budget friendly. But I'm gonna give this like a 8 out of 10 for Nike Nocta Tech Fleece. Comes with the pants as well. Definitely not worth the price, bro. Just a normal sweater. Moving on to the zip up sweaters, we got another Broken Planet one right here. Turn off the dark or whatever. We got a little skull thing right there. Design on the back. Bro, I, I'm in love with this zip up, bro. Like, I like, I just like the quality on this. The colors, everything is just like put together well. 10 out of 10 for this one. Next zip up, we got this uh, Nike. T it's not even a Tech Fleece, it's like a Nike collab. I forgot the name, but this is a nice little like thing. I just wear hooping, you know, warming up just to hoop. Nine out of ten. Next up, we got two of these Gap sweaters, bro. I like the quality on these as well. These are probably the most like budget friendly but drippy at the same time sweaters because these are not that expensive. I like these. I could put on a fit with them. I'm gonna give them a ten out of ten. Next up, a kind of goofy sweater. We got the Canto. What's it called? We got the Canto starter. But as you can see, we got Bulbasaur on the hood, bro. Bulbasaur on the hood is crazy, but yeah, zip up quality is good. We got this, I don't know, bro, some furry shit. No offense to furries, but yeah, this is a uh, kind of drippy, bro, kind of drippy. If I'm ever wearing this, bro, I'm not like, I'm not in a serious mood, you feel me? Like, that's, that's the kind of sweater it is. Like, if I'm wearing this, I'm probably on some goofy shit. And for the last zip up, we got this Travis Scott Mastermind sweater. Zip up, as you can see, it says Mastermind right there. We got a couple things, Cactus Jack right here. 
and then the skull on the back. This is like so annoying though. If, you, if I ever put my back to like a chair at school, like, and then and then put my back to a chair, right? And then I leave, this shit just sticks off for some reason. Pause, but like it literally is so sticky. I don't know why. Now I'm gonna bring you all to my track suits right here. Hold on. So now we're at the track suits. I'm gonna just show you all, all my track suits real quick. So right here, we got the human made track suit. This is the pants, the Uzi right there. And then this is the hoodie, bro. It goes really well. I like the quality on it and everything, bro. Just look at it, bro. This is something I wear a lot. When I first got it, bro, I couldn't take it off for like the first week. 10 out of 10 for sure, bro. It comes with that little diamond thing that Uzi has on his forehead. Next up, another cheap thing from Boohoo, man. Very thin quality, but it was only $30 for the whole thing. So you can't complain. This is on Boohoo, man, bro. So yeah, W Cop right here. The next track suit we got is Draco. As you can see, quality is like this. I don't know what the word is, but this is like... I don't know. The quality is like just like that. Just calm, calm, cool quality. This is the sweater. Just a very, very feminine, bro. This is not very masculine. Like as a grown ass man. But we got the Draco. I can't, I can't tell if y'all can see. The Draco tag right there. Uh, just a calm little zip up, bro. Something I wear like hopping out the shower or something, or even going to sleep, bro. This is a, such a pajama ass like like fit. All right, this is probably one of my favorite track suits. We got this blue one. It's called Car Sicko, but as you can see, we got the strings there. We also got we also got some strings at the bottom of the pants, which does match the hoodie. This is the hoodie with the little heart, and it also has the strings coming out from the bottom. So when you put it together, it's like such a perfect fit. So I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10, bro. It's called Car Sicko, Car Sicko. Next up, another Lil Uzi human made piece as you can see it does have the zip up right here and then this is the and then it has the little uzi thing right there and on the back bro peep the back design human made with the thing right there comes with the pants too bro these are w cops like little uzi bro you came up with some good ideas for the for tracksuits bro because these are drippy bro all right next tracksuit i got is this polo tracksuit these are the pants right here and then this is the sweater right here it's hella green it's like pine green bro it does match a couple of my sneakers like jordan one pine greens jordan three pine greens it does like just it matches it really well and just some some light bro i'm happy it's not bright green like the noctitech fleece it's like dark green so it's like those so drippy subtle just everything bro and for the last one we got the same one in gray gray polo tracksuit i can't find the pants bro i don't know where it went but yeah this is the tracksuit we got right here w cop man and that will make the whole hoodie collection slash zip up slash tracksuit collection if y'all did enjoy this video bro make sure you hit the like and sub button i will be updating this maybe in a couple weeks maybe in a couple months because y'all know i do be running through a lot of clothes i'm like a school of thought but with clothes like i just get clothes i wear it a couple times and i sell it like bro i'll just be running through these clothes bro but yeah let me know if y'all want some more series of this bro i might make one for jeans i do have a lot of jeans or jackets varsity jackets anything bro put your ideas in the comments because that does help me bro i'm on a i'm on a consistent little roll right now but yeah bro i'm done with this video bro all my socials in my bio and i'm out bro peace